Dean Workman here for rtnewsafrica.com at the Technology Innovation Conference 2018 at the Gallagher Convention Center, Johannesburg, South Africa. And today we are talking to Dr. Thomas Mensah, the CEO and Chairman at Lightwave Skymax. Thank you for joining us, Doctor. It's a pleasure. So, Dr. Thomas Mensah has the esteemed privilege of being one of the creators of fiber optics. Yes, Can you talk, tell us more about well, that? I'm one of the inventors of fiber optics. Bob Mauer, Peter Schultz, Don Keck, and myself. Uh, mine basically is moving fiber optics from the lab into the commercial environment. Basically, lab means running at two meters a second, that's the lab rate, and I moved it from two meters a second to 20 meters a second. That allowed fiber optics to replace copper wires throughout America and the world. And so when you're sending your Facebook pictures and your YouTube videos, we are the guys that make that happen. Awesome. So he's also involved in setting up the Silicon Valley in Ghana. Can you also tell us more about that? Yeah, I just set it up, uh, Silicon Valley in Ghana. Basically, uh, uh, it has business accelerators since then. And it's going to actually enable Ghana to begin to have incubators that will create new products. You know, I'm the founder and chairman. I launched it at the Kofi Annan Center in Ghana in about three weeks ago. So that Silicon Valley of Ghana is going to actually make sure that the entire ecosystem of technology is in Ghana. They will have a telemedicine component where doctors from Ghana can work with doctors in Mayo Clinic in the United States, or even doctors in South Africa, or doctors in England, and look at, at serious cases using 4G LTE broadband technology. Do you think a similar sort of hub could be set up quite easily in South Africa and other countries around the continent? Exactly. Uh, the, the Premier of Houghton, David Makura, is the one who invited me to be a speaker here. And so I'm looking at setting up the Silicon Valley of South Africa, or Silicon Valley of Joburg. And this Silicon Valley will be similar to the Silicon Valley I'm setting up all across Africa. It would be, it would be different in South Africa because I want to specifically put innovation centers that will create nanotechnology batteries. So you're going to have factories in South Africa that will be making laptops, batteries, and cell phone batteries out of nanotechnology. I just f uh, finished publishing a book called Nanotechnology Commercialization. And South Africa is going to be the first country to put factories here, they'll be making those batteries for both cars and for both laptops and for both computers. But that would obviously help the unemployment and jobs in the country. And put nanotechnology on their maps of South Africa. Thank you, Doctor, so much. It's a pleasure.